Welcome students, Standard 6 English Textbook, Chapter 1.1, The Poem, Don't Give Up. Poetry section carries 10 marks. Don't Give Up is a poem written by Phoebe Carey. About the poet, Phoebe Carey was an American poetess and became well known during the middle of the 19th century. Let's look at the title of the poem. The title of the poem is very significant as the poem tells us that never lose your confidence. If you don't get success or reach your goal, keep patience and keep trying. One day you will get success, but never give up. Now let's go to the explanation of the poem. First stanza. The poem says that if we have tried to achieve something but not succeeded, we should not stop to cry. All great and good things have been done just by keeping on trying patiently. Now the explanation of the second stanza. Here the poet gives us an example of young birds. The birds fall when they are learning to fly, but their wings grow stronger and the next time when they try, they can keep up a little longer than before. Now the third stanza. In this stanza, the poet gives us another example. The strong oak has been bent by many stormy winds, but has risen again and grown taller, stronger and prouder. Now the explanation of the fourth stanza. The poet warns us that no one will value us if we win when we do something that is easy. The test that shows our strength is the one where we don't give up but gain victory after defeat. Now the theme or central idea of the poem. This poem gives us a clear image of the importance of trying and trying again. But we must not give up. We must try and try again because hard work with constant efforts is the biggest key to success. Poetic Devices the poem is written in alternate rhyme. The rhyme scheme of the poem is AB AB. Students, now let us look at the figures of speech. The first one, alliteration. Up a little longer. This line is an alliteration. Letter L in the beginning of the words little and longer is repeated to give a musical or rhythmic effect. Similarly, the line that's the test that tries you is also an alliteration. Here, the letter T is repeated to give a musical or rhythmic effect. Next, personification. She has risen again and grown loftier and prouder. Here, the oak is personified as a girl. The last figure of speech used is antithesis. Gaining victory from defeat. Victory and defeat 
are two opposite words used in a line. Now the difficult words give up here to lose heart and stop trying. Study meaning strong and healthy. Loftier meaning taller and stronger. I would advise the students to read the text thoroughly. Thank you.